right. All right. Oh, this could be uh, another best sale of the week video. Um, this is a very a small Singer sewing machine. Uh, a, a toy. A child's toy, correct? Uh, yeah. It's small. Uh, as you can see, I do it's not a have... Crank. Yeah. Uh, it's cast iron. It's actually and, pretty heavy. Uh, it actually sews. Um, and as I said, it, it is small a child's because I do not have giant hands, once again. Um, <clears throat> it was missing a piece over here, but that seems to be uh, something that's common. This would, and you said it was. It you would, can actually buy that piece and replace it. How much? Twenty bucks. Twenty bucks. That's not uh, too unreasonable. Uh, but you said that's a common problem, right? It's generally missing. Yeah, it's probably where that little hole where, is, right? Yeah, I saw other ones where that was missing also. Okay, so that's not a big deal. Made by Singer. Here, I'll just show. It's that. from the nineteen twenties. Nineteen twenties. And there it is. Oh, there. And let me focus in on this. The Singer. Manufacturing company, and there it is. Oh, and it has a felt bottom. Is that normal felt bottom? Uh, kind of looks like it is. On some of them, yeah. yeah okay, so what's the story be uh, behind that? Uh, we went to a yard sale. Yeah, and actually, someone we know and, went uh, to the yard sale, and they said what happened was they had a limit of eight people, and they were supposed well, they to be got open there at ten. Early number one. Yes. The sale didn't start at ten, mm -hmm. and if I remember. When you went to the driveway, because it was like a, it was a long driveway, like yeah. a U-shaped driveway that led up to the house. Yeah. And uh, there were chairs blocking there it off. There were chairs and, a and table. tables and yeah. a sign that said it starts at 10. And, and I didn't no read early it because we, already, did not. we didn't get there until like, like 1. one. <laughs> so I just We went there on a lark on Sunday, right? And when we actually did, pretty, we did better than I thought. was there early. And early. what he said was... Uh, everybody was waiting till like 10 and, and 10 comes and goes. There's like 10 people. So it was like 10 after 10 and they were like, screw this. And they made a bum rush and they all went running up the driveway and everybody started grabbing stuff to buy. Right. But then the guy who, who, uh, owns the house came running on going, everybody put that stuff down and yelling at everybody. Right. And they were like, screw you. And they put it back <laughs> and they left. So it was kind of funny, you know, but I mean, obviously a bunch of stuff was gone when we got there. Um, well, I bought jewelry. Yeah, I you did. I bought some museum Do we sell anything from there yet besides pieces. the sewing machine? I got those t-shirts. Um, I, I haven't done anything with them yet. I just listed the jewelry yesterday. Okay. So, so we'll see. We'll yeah. see. But uh, uh, I, I listed that and the bell. I got the gong there. The Yeah, yeah, the gong. Bell. That ends, though. That's ending tonight. That, uh, yeah, because I think I put it on the same time. Yeah, it's ending soon. Um, what did you start it off at? Let me just show pictures. Uh, 45 45 and I saw it got 15 bids auction um, and it sold for one hundred and two dollars so it was actually a pretty good sale oh and what's the rest of the story uh, of that so we we spent a bunch of money no actually we didn't spend a bunch of money we just didn't have a lot of money we kind of went on a lark um, and we spent almost all our money right so it was originally priced twenty dollars. Oh, yeah. But right. we were getting ready to leave, and they were trying to sell stuff. So the girl's like, I'll take 15 for that sewing machine. So and you were like... You were kind of like really not into it. No, nah, I don't care. Thing. Yeah, it's not my but thing. But I thought it was so cool, and I know I have heard that old children's sewing machines Yeah, sell. you're paying more attention to other so, stuff than I am lately. Um, I'm just... Well, you have to know a little bit of everything, yes. which is really difficult. Right, yeah. And I mean, um, I know a lot about this and that, but, but I, I didn't think I this do was... my research, I, I tend to find other things I that I did not know realize before. that these went up so much in value because I've seen these before. Um, I might I don't... I'm not going to say I had one, but George probably had one. Remember, I used to sell with George. And at the time, I think he only got got like 40 bucks or something, right? Well, at uh, a flea market because the person probably wanted to resell Probably it. at a flea market. But this was a long time ago before eBay. Yeah, so, I had gotten this bell. Let me see. Oh, wait. What's the price? What's the price range on on what these sell for? I had for? gotten that bell and it didn't sell. The singer sewing machine. Oops. It was like a little temple bell. Oh, it did not sell. But I paid a dollar for the temple bell. Can't go wrong. Just leave it. We'll just list it for like thirty two ninety nine or something like that. It didn't sell for like twenty nine. But um, so we had spent all our money on on jewelry and T shirts and this and that. So we were down to like. $13, right? Yeah, and they said, I'll take 15. Wait, 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 let me, yeah. So they're like, we'll take 15 And I was like, ah, who cares? We got so much stuff. Just another like, thing. I got quarters in the car. 
car. <laughs> yeah, so we went back, and then you were like, you know what? I got quarters in the car. So well, because I, I keep quarters in the car for the meters. Yes. And I, I, I went back to that, and I saw the girl there, right? And I said, hey, we're going to take that sewing machine, right? So I said, can I just give you the money? And did you hear this part when I was talking to her? No. So I, so I told her, hey, can I just give you the money, right? And she goes, okay. So I gave her $13 and, and $2 and change. And I said, hey, when I go up there and I take that, they're not going to, like, jump me or anything and, and accuse me of stealing and stuff. She's like, no, right? And I said, well, what's your name? And uh, she told me your name. I don't remember it now. But I said, when I get up there, I'm going to say, blah, 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 said, uh, sold this to me, and I paid for it. And, and then they probably wouldn't, like, accuse me of stealing and call the cops and jump me and all that crap. Um, and, and so I went up and I got it and I brought it back. So, so I thought it was interesting just that we're like no money and we wound up buying it and it turned out to be much better than I thought it would be. And what was the price range on these you said? Oh, Anthony, I don't remember everything. Now, I think you said they sell for higher and I think the price well, range was like 60 people to... People have them with the box and everything. Yeah, what are those But I for? think they start them, but if somebody wants to use it... Yeah. They're you not going to use this. You know what it is? Yeah. You got these people that are into, like, surviving. Yeah. So they... So you're saying this is for a little person survivalist? Yeah. He's got to go <laughs> underground, and in case he needs to sew his pants... Like on that show with the little people? Yeah, in case he needs to sew his pants, <laughs> yeah. he can sew them with this little sewing machine because he doesn't need electricity. And it's small, so it doesn't and take him a lot of room. it's small, so he can carry it around. be in a cave or a box. Yeah. <laughs> or something like that. <laughs> surviving in like a small tank but um yeah so you said like you started off at one of my nephews worked for a guy that was like that yeah i know i remember like a horse farm in a and cave he was buying those big no he was buying these big containers to put in the cave no to bury he was burying the, these big containers in the cave i talked to him and he was connecting them the cave was underground you know dude you're <laughs> such dope it was a cave and uh, he tried to get my nephew to. Uh, yeah. What are you doing with them glasses? I'm trying to clean them. Just mind your business. But you're doing it weird. How are you? How are you cleaning them? It's got junk on it. I'm just uh, trying to scrape the junk. Okay, off. Okay, because it's it looks like you're They're rubbing old. a leaf on them or something. It's a piece of plastic. Oh, okay, I was wondering. Um, can I see the plastic? No. <laughs> I just wanted to show how it looks like a leaf from across up. the room. Just do your video. All right. So anyway, already. that was uh, that was the best sale. One hundred and two. I usually like to do uh, sales over a hundred dollars. But if you do see this at a flea market, they the price range was what sixty to a hundred plus, right? What was the most expensive one you saw? Anthony, again, I'm not an encyclopedia. If that sold tonight, that means I put it on five days ago. That means I did my research five or six days you ago. You can't remember, like... No, I'm not going to remember every single price. Ugh. Like, seriously, dude. But what about if you see it again? You well, I'll remember. remember it sold for 100 bucks. All right, okay. Hey, you know what? While I'm here, I'll just go through some of my other sales. Because <laughs> I have had a bunch of little sales, and, you know... I've been listing just all these stupid PS2 games. I, I, I figured nobody buys them at the flea market, nobody buys them at the store, so I'll just put them on eBay and I'll sell them for whatever they sell for. So here's another one I saw. It's GTA, Grand Theft Auto, Vice City, PlayStation 2. Um, what did I get? $6.99. Or exactly. Oh, um, here's some little spoons. These didn't even sell for that much. I paid $2 for them. Six Mexico Hallmark, 800 silver... Uh, Demi task spoons. These must have been like very light and scrap, huh? They're demi tasks. They're this long. They're like three inches long. Three two inches and a half long. Inches okay. Long. Yeah. They're small. They're for espresso for coffee. Were they all? They were all eight hundred silver, right? Yes. I'll just show them. It's not like you know. If you see these, what would you pay for these? One to two dollars? Not yeah, even, right? I yeah, because six. If you pay two dollars, that's twelve. Because I probably sold it for just around scrap or something. I don't yeah. know. Okay. You know what? Uh, you probably, I mean, you probably sold it for more than scrap. You didn't put the weight on these, though. Usually I try, but with 800, I don't always put the weight. I'm surprised nobody asked. So anyway, um, yeah, they're really small. They're light. We probably sold them, like, probably near double scrap or something like that. But uh, my advice on these is, like, geez. I mean, I guess if you sold them individually, you could pay 2 bucks a piece. But if you bought these together and paid 2 bucks a piece, you'd be in 12 Shipping is going to be like... No, I'm I just paid pay two for bucks for all of them. No, no, no. But oh. what I'm saying is if someone saw these, how much should they pay for them? And I'm thinking Not like much. a buck to a buck fifty and that's it. But, you know, a lot of people don't realize what it is. They just think, you know, it's crap in their house they want to get rid yeah. of. Yeah, you bought that with a box of stuff, right? 
Or no, no, I bought those years separate. ago oh, with a bunch years of other. Ago. Yeah, they had them wrapped in rubber bands. And you just and stumbled were... across them, right? Well, I had them put away. <sighs> Here's another game, PlayStation Two. This is actually a fun game. I'm surprised it doesn't sell. For where is it? Uh, yeah, right there. Jack Two. I'm not even going to show it, but it's a fun game. Only seven bucks. Uh, Final Fantasy. This game does not sell for much. The Final Fantasies. And uh, they were really popular for a while, but I think you might need hard drives to play these. So I don't, I don't know. Maybe you could play them. Um, Six ninety nine, so that's seven bucks. Here's another uh, Major League Baseball two K six six bucks. Yeah, I have a bunch of BS sales. Oh, uh, here Tony Hawk's Pro Skater for Nintendo GameCube game, uh, nineteen ninety nine. I'll just show this one and I'll tell you the diff uh, difference between um, GameCube. GameCube sold for $19.99, and I probably could have gotten more, right? Let me just see. Let me just give me a second, and I'm going to see if I can, because I'm pretty sure I just listed one tonight, and I'll show you the price difference between GameCube and PlayStation 2, which is why, uh, what, what was it, Tony Hawk's 4. Okay, here we go. PlayStation uh, 2, Tony Hawk's 4, $9, and that was like a low average price. So basically... There's eleven more dollars in this game if it if it's a GameCube game, which which you you know you just, you would think that all the games should be worth the same across all platforms, but they are not. It's just like Sega Genesis games and uh, Nintendo and uh, Super Nintendo games. Um, Super Nintendo games are always worth more. Here's a Batman Arkham Origins, seven dollars, no big deal. Here's this. Um, I'm actually I'm having a really good sell through rate on these games that I'm listing. I've listed like maybe 240 games, and I probably have about, I'm, I think I'm having about a 75% sell-through rate on these BS games. So, uh, well, I'm not getting rich or anything off of most of them. And these are common games I would sell at the flea market for $4, 3 for 10 and maybe $5 in my store in most cases. So anyway, uh, Yu Yu Hash, Hakusho Ghost Files, 7 whopping dollars for the PS2. Here's a teeny little... Itsy bitsy, um, cobalt blue hand dish. I can't really explain to you how small this is, but it's probably it's a salt dish. Yeah, it's a salt dish. It's probably about like this big uh, in height, which would be about less than or two inches maybe. Uh, Twelve ninety nine, not a lot of money, um, but I'm pretty sure we paid a dollar for it, possibly less. All right, uh, I'm just gonna keep going a little bit more. Because I know I just made another best video of the week, best sell of the week video. Uh, here's a Waterford Crystal uh, Clear Fish. You know, everybody's like, Waterford, ooh, that's Waterford when you go to a sale. That's Waterford. Um, I paid a quarter for that. Oh, no, that's great. You did good on that. But if if I were at a sale, sometimes people will go, that's Waterford, 10 bucks, right? Look, only twenty one ninety nine, and that's with free shipping. Um, fortunately, on this one, I put it in a small box. It shipped for under a pound. And I think I paid like five bucks or a little bit less to ship it, so not bad. But again, um, twenty one ninety nine, not a lot of money, you know, for Waterford. I, I actually don't even know what new Waterford sells for. You know, I don't look at that stuff in the mall. I'm not a crystal guy. I like colorful glass. Uh, here's another BS game. You would think Grand Theft Auto um, games would sell for more, but they mostly sell for like six, maybe as much as eight dollars or so. Um, don't I, they're not even worth buying for like a a dollar for resale, um, but I've I buy them for see if I resell them in the store of the flea market, um, I'll get five or six. But nobody's buying it, right? It's just a super common game. So I buy it for this. I figured I throw it on eBay, and if it sells, it sells. Whatever. I have a lot of them. If it doesn't sell, when I sell a PS2, I'll just yank it off of eBay and I'll throw it in because it's a fun game to play, just not very valuable. Um, here's another uh, a Bruce Willis inspired movie uh, a game from the movie Die Hard Die Hard Vendetta, uh, ten bucks and, and an almost impossible game to sell. All right, I'm up to where I did my last best sale of the weeks, and I'll just show those for a second. Uh, I'll just show those since I'm here, and that's where I'll end this. Um, this is a little crossover, a vintage gold tone sign, Edward Rambaud, Paris designer cuff bracelet. I uh, got a hundred bucks for that, and right before that, uh, there was this bracelet, which uh, another interesting story. We bought it at a, a flea market, twenty-five bucks. I I, uh, I was looking at. It, I asked the guy to hold it. I walk away for a minute, 
right? Some other ladies going like, oh, $25, hmm, I'll probably buy it. And I was like, and I'm standing there looking at it, like, what the, that, that guy, I asked you to, you know, like giving him the, the dirty look. And the lady was like, oh, it was this something you were interested in? And I said, well, I asked the guy to hold it for me. And I don't know uh, if he said anything, whatever. But she said, ah, I don't care about it. You can have it. So it was $25, bucks, 89 dollars um, Probably like a triple my, our money situation. And what's even more interesting about this is we sold it. And the person who bought it sent it back for some stupid reason. I don't know. Maybe she, she said it didn't fit. Or so she said it didn't fit. Um, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So she said it didn't fit. So I actually relisted it for more money than we had it uh, originally, and we went up getting it. And it has condition. Well, I don't know, know if it has condition problems, but what it was made here, you see right here? There's like a, I don't know if it's a snap or break in uh, the silver. So it, it was, you know, people, someone just liked it. Yeah. So, yeah, that's about it. Uh, and more interesting stuff. Yeah, I, I, if you want to see... Or, or see me talk about some of the other stuff that's that I've sold before. It'll be in my the best sale of the week video previous to this one. Uh, anyway, I just uh, let me finish up and show this item one more time. No, um, there it is. Uh, Singer miniature sewing machines. Have we ever had one? No. Yeah, we've never had one. Here's our first. Now, if you see them at flea market, it's like thirty bucks. What would you pay for this if you saw it at flea market now? I wouldn't pay more than twenty-five. But I mean, because this might have been one. You know how many? There's a lot of those on. So it's a fluke. I right? don't know why that one sold. Mm, probably your excellent photography. But there's a lot. And very clear pictures. A lot of them on. Mm. And again, like I said, a lot with the original boxes yeah, and okay. all the paperwork and all the pieces, and the and the metal is nice and shiny. They must go for like two hundred or something. With with. I don't remember. I yeah. Don't remember. All right. Anyway, that's it. You know it. what it is? It's like wow. that was. I went on, I've, between that and today, I've looked up like 50 more things. I know exactly what you're so talking about. So there's, there's no way. It's like all these stupid I mean, games. In I'm my listening lifetime, all these stupid I'll games. remember that I, that I did that well was with good, that. Yeah. And I'd probably buy it again if I saw it. It's like this perfect. But what happens yeah. is that when I find something new and I try and it does well, you never find it again. I never find it again. Yeah. No, I was just going to so, say that I found this perfume a long time ago, and it was an 80s perfume, and I, I can't remember who made it now, but when I see it again, I'll know it's good, but when I saw it, the, the, the guy was like 20 bucks. Now, normally, I won't pay 20 bucks for a perfume unless I remember that it's good. In my head, I remember selling it, not, and it didn't take me a long time to sell it, for like 75 but then when I went home, it was like 180 so I was like, ooh, you know, it was even better than I thought, but um, no, oh, okay, uh, there you go, Singer Sewing Machine. You see these, pick them up, and uh, that's it. I'm out of here. Bye.